this is Chris Kell with our first step in building our thigh gap article. And when we're looking at why the thigh gap occurs at all, um, or whether or not it does, I have to look at the difference, the anatomical or physical causes of why this occurs. Right? And one of the big things is just how we sit um, throughout the day, because as wi with women, you know, they're taught to cross their legs, uh, you know, like this. Everything comes together, you know, the thighs kind of cave in, and so either you're sitting this way all day, or, you know, you're sitting like this. I can't even do it very well uh, because my hips are tight in that direction, whereas dudes are sitting this way all the time, okay? So as a result, or they're sitting like this, all right? So if you do nothing else, kind of changing your position and changing your posture is going to start to reposition kind of how you stand in your legs, all right? And this is just something that I think is acquired through the fact that, you know, women were taught to be ladies, whereas dudes, not so much. So, but um, in order to get out of kind of this posture of what we call flexion, where I'm leaning forward, and then internal rotation, which most women are predisposed to, when they, so when they stand up there like this, okay, we want to use two key exercises. And these are things that you can either do throughout the day, get up from your desk about, you know, every hour or so, knock out a couple of these, do these before your workout, do these at home before you put on jeans. All of these things are going to be forcing the legs out and kind of forcing us into the position that we want. Okay, so our first mobility drill um, would be a half kneeling hip extension. Okay, and with this, what I'm looking at is just putting my back foot on a chair here, feeling a big stretch in my hip here. I'm tightening the butt cheek of my back leg. I'm just leaning forward until I feel a stretch, and I'm coming back. All right, generally I'm going to perform 10 reps. At the same time, I'm tightening my butt cheek and I'm kind of telling my butt to turn on, um, which is another thing that's going to help you. Okay, so we're looking at just 10 reps on each side, and if you do find that one side is tighter, maybe go 15 to 20 reps on the one side, then 10 reps on the other side. Our second exercise is a Spider-Man. Okay, and a Spider-Man is helping us to kind of bring the legs out this way. So we're cueing external rotation of the hips. And with this, what I'm going to do is start in a push-up position, bring one leg way out to the side, and just push out into external rotation. So I'm doing this. I'm literally prying my leg out. Okay, we have two options for this. You can either come up and down, which is more of a warm-up exercise, or you can simply stay in this position and kind of drift to the outside, shift your weight onto the outside of your feet, and just hold in this spot. But performing these exercises um, throughout the day, um, you know, before you get into your jeans, before exercise, is going to start to tip the balance towards kind of this externally rotated position and help us to form this gap that we're talking about, all right? So look at your position in, you know, the way that you sit during the day, the way you hold your legs and those things, and that's really going to start to address that balance. Good luck.